What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what I'd like to do with my hobby moving on in the future. So you may know from what I put out on YouTube that I have a lot of predatory invertebrates. But the thing is, I don't just work with them. I keep many different species and my favourite species are those in the family Coleoptera and those in the family Lepidoptera. Those are of course Coleopterans are beetles, like this female Mechanorina torquata ugandensis. And Lepidopterans are butterflies and moths, like this stunning Samia Cynthia, which is a silk moth species from Asia. They are absolutely amazing. Isn't she gorgeous? So this girl emerged sometime yesterday. They only live for a week because they don't have mouth parts but they are absolutely gorgeous. Fun to raise and awesome to keep. I absolutely love Lepidopterans and um, Coleopterans because of the awesome different colours, different colours, different species, just absolute different forms you can get with them. Like beetles, like these Beckenorina, are, um, they make up a quarter of the species on planet Earth. Isn't that amazing to think? There's hundreds of thousands of different species, and how many more do you think are yet to be undescribed, yet to be described? And Lepidopterans, I mean, just look at that, look at the colour! It is stunning! So they are absolutely gorgeous. I love all the insects and invertebrates, but I think these have got to be my favourite. And I think there's just a lack of representation of them on YouTube, like you see a lot of different tarantula keepers, mantis keepers, uh, literally everyone keeping all these predatory invertebrates, but these guys just don't get enough love. I mean, how many people do you know have moths and giant beetles? They're just severely underrated. They may not live that long, but they're awesome to keep when, when you um, get to interact with them. And fun to raise. Like, all of their larval forms, it can take for ages. It may feel like a... Um, like a bit of a chore, but when they, um, when they mature, they're absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, this Samia is absolutely stunning. I think this one's a female. I'm waiting for her partners to hatch out. She's going to have a look at the, co at the cocoons then. So these Samia are super easy to raise, as you can see. There's just a, um, big mesh cage with a towel with a damp towel in the bottom with the cocoons in there then the adults can just go back in as well and oh not coming off go on back in you go oh, I'm just gonna sit there then you can see now she's fluttering her wings this is because her flight muscles aren't warm enough for her to fly so she's gonna try and warm them up by flut fluttering them manually they're super pretty animals, as you can see. And then I've got eight of these cocoons. Uh, they are, in fact, silk moths, but this is a wild form, so they're not like the white silk you see. But super easy to care for. And there she is there. Absolutely stunning. As caterpillars, for different species, you need to find out their correct uh, food plants. Generally speaking, most of the species that are currently available aren't that hard to raise but still, research is always needed with any animal. Then there's beetles, who've just got a big tub with um, lots of different substrates and on species. So these are leaf litter, this is the top soil mixed with uh, rotten wood, and then for the larvae, and then they're in here. These feed off of uh, fruit and the live food jelly pots, which you can get. They are super cool. They can fly, so be careful as well. But that's the male. And there's the female. Super awesome animals to own. And all around, just awesome to keep. I do also keep other beetle species, like the Pagnoda species. Um, there is a Pterostichus nodidus, which is a black clock beetle in here. That's a predatory beetle species, a native one in the family Carabidae. Uh, genus is Pterostichus, as I said before. I also keep Dynastes. Uh, Titius, which is a um, Dynastidae species, meaning rhino beetle, obviously, 
both Bet on a Day, which are um, Flower Beetles, and I'm looking forward to getting more in the future. But most of those are grubs, and I don't want to disturb them. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.